I guess some comments in uh, in some of the videos on uh, the um, USB charger kits here um, of how things are wired and uh, I should have made a little video showing how I wired this one but I usually just grab something and start soldering and start breathing in that solder fumes and then get happy <laughs> anyway I, I uh, just whipped up this thing and uh, I didn't even think to uh, make a video but that I don't have a, a way to hold uh, you know a tripod or anything like that so that would have been really hard to do but I made this this is a USB charger uh, this is for an input for um, a uh, another solar panel and this is where you plug in to charge and uh, this one has four uh, AA batteries, 1.2 volts each, um, 200 and, or I mean 2,500 milliamps, um, 200, 2,500 uh, plus 2,500. But ran these are in a series, so um, that would double the voltage. So this plus this would go 1.2 to 2.4 so 2.4 volts at 200 or 2500 milliamps this is the same thing here and then these are ran parallel so two batteries in a series and then two more batteries in a series that are ran together parallel so you just put the positives of both battery uh, holders together and the negatives of both together and put those on the USB charge circuit positive to positive negative to negative and then you hook up your solar panel which this is the solar panels here it's, it's two solar panels and they just fold up neatly right there and uh, you run that also positive to positive negative to negative on the uh, panel I like to put a uh, a blocking diode so that uh, these panels are ran in, in uh, parallel together and then from here blocking diode off of the positive and then the positive to the positive and negative to the negative everything's wired together positive all the positives together all the negatives together and uh, but then these are in the series but that's that's how this works I didn't wire this in yet but I'm, I'm gonna same thing with this positive to positive negative to negative and uh, and that will allow me to uh, add another um, or many more um, solar panels. This only adds up to about 168 milliamps, which 168 milliamps pushing into 5,000 is not going to charge it very fast at all. You want to go about 10%. So 500 milliamps would be just about the extent of what I'd want to charge at. Any more current than that, and you could uh, damage the batteries. These are only nickel metal hydride batteries, so they're they're a little durable, and you can you can overcharge them without you know creating an explosion or a fire. Uh, but it will just ruin the battery if you charge them too fast or if you uh, overcharge them. Anytime you're charging these, uh, when the battery starts getting warm that definitely means that it's fully charged or overcharged but if you start feeling the battery get warm definitely unhook it and if it's just starting to get warm you should be okay um, I always check the uh, voltage you know this is 2.4 um, with these in a series so you can check positive here negative here and then see what you're coming up with uh, a this battery, just one battery, when it's fully charged, these ones are is usually about uh, 1.48, I think it was, was fully charged. And that was on a regular plug-in-the-wall charger. That's what it brought it up to. So that's what I feel safe charging it up to with solar power or another power. So that's about what I stopped charging them at is uh, uh, 1.48. And... Uh, so when they're all 1.48, they usually uh, keep a level right around the same, and uh, um, it can take a long time to charge with uh, when you're under powered in the solar panel. But 
couple more couple more of these or or some other bigger ones that I have would uh would do nice and then I think it would charge in about 8 or 10 hours it would probably be from pretty close to dead to pretty good but that's of direct sunlight so hopefully this answered some questions about some stuff uh pretty simple on wiring this stuff up especially with these kind of batteries they're not real picky but um if you have any comments or questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, um, give me some questions. If I don't know it, I'll try and figure it out and post it. Um, uh, anyway, thanks for um, thanks for watching the video, and uh, have a great day.